I am going to teach you on spirit, soul and body. Amen. Actually, <coughs> Christian life is really become interesting and victorious when you know this revelation. That's a confusion in the body of Christ. That's a confusion in you also. Why you failed many times, you don't know how to fix your problem. Yes or no? <laughs> if, you, if you have a Maruti car, Maruti car, every roadside mechanic repairs. They leave that. <laughs> Maybe you have a BMW and uh, if you want to fix the car, which car, where you take it? Which showroom? BMW showroom. You cannot take it to the Ford showroom. They will say, hey, sir, I am not the manufacturer. Only manufacturer only have the parts. He only knows how to fix the problem. Who is your manufacturer? <laughs> God. Amen. He given you a manual to fix your problem. What is the manual? Bible. I mean, every whenever you buy a fridge or TV, you have a manual, no? How to operate, how to <laughs> washing machine, the error message will come, do this, everything. So the manual, if you don't thorough in the manual, your life is a failure. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, hello, brother. Why are you failure? You didn't read the manual fully. Amen. <laughs> when you read this manual, handbook, you will be successful. Amen. <laughs> so, very easy. See, this is a pro you are the product. He is a producer, manufacturer. Amen. And the, you don't have connection with the manufacturer. You are going, you are taking your car to every other shop. <laughs> Sometimes people think, if I have money, I will be okay. If you enjoy the sin, you will be okay. Sometimes you need love, you go to your girl, and you go to your person. Everywhere you broke, and finally you came to the right place, to your manufacturer. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so God only created you and me. He only knows how to fix our problem. Actually, medical science try to fix the human problem. But... They are limited with two things. The whole world believes two things. One is body. Second, they uh, deal with the mind and emotion. Yes or no? The third element, science has no answer. Science has no answer for two things. Body and soul. They won't call soul. They will say mind problem or emotional imbalance. Psychic, psychological issue, or you have an OCD problem, <laughs> uh, compulsive disorder, or bipolar. Uh, everything they speak and they will give a tablet. The tablet will reduce the chemical in your brain and try to adjust your emotion. These are all the temporary solution the science offers for the human problem. Hallelujah. But only one book can give you a total solution for a total man. Hallelujah. With one more element in the human, science misses it. But some religion having yeah, one element, they know it, but they don't have the full solution how to bring the spirit alive. Because they are all how counterfeit religion. They are not original. Amen. We have original God and we have an original solution. Amen. Hallelujah. Because today the church failed, science, medical science increased. People are going for meditation, yoga. People go for everything to find out some solution for that problem. Even the Westerners are coming to India. <laughs> Western church failed. 
they couldn't give the answer from the bible it can solve every human problem the reason is the church failed to get this revelation and didn't didn't teach to the body of christ what happened that place science took it some other false religions took that place hallelujah okay so i'm not uh, uh going into other other things but you have to understand one one of the important thing is soul and body everybody have understanding that two things but the third element what is that spirit everybody there spirit amen actually the spirit revelation comes to you and me you and i will become victorious everything you will see will change your perspective about the life will change and you even if you fail you will understand how to fix your failure hallelujah after three months school you will not say anna that sin again coming and you will not say even if it comes you know yeah you are coming but i know how to fix the problem amen you have a car sometimes suddenly some sound comes immediately like, here you are what to do you leave the car and go no what to do take to the repair shop amen. amen when the problem comes you have to come to the repair shops take the manual amen. amen take the manual okay where is my problem find out fix it and again run in the full speed amen. hallelujah the devil deceived you and me the devil is a deceiver cunning he is a craftiness bible says by his craftiness he deceived eve so god uh, actually to know anything any revelation if you want to know you have to go to the genesis book of genesis that's a re- genesis of all revelations amen so any truth you want to know go back to the first and two three chapters of the bible okay when you know how god created man you will understand how you were created you will understand who you are you must know who you are amen then you know about everybody <laughs> many times we don't know who we are that is our problem and we say that person is bad that person is bad this is not good hey know who you are you are created in as a tri triune being how god is triune father son holy spirit same way you are a triune being what is that spirit soul and body first thessalonian 5:23 is a word that you can is a word that shows about spirit soul and body take it and read first thessalonian 5:23 yeah <clears throat> now may the god of peace himself sanctify you completely ah and may your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our lord jesus christ listen here there's an order no god of peace will sanctify you completely underline the word completely amen whatever god does he will do complete work amen completely means your spirit he will sanctify your spirit he will sanctify your soul he will sanctify your body everybody say complete amen, amen. our god is a god of total man is a god of the spirit is god of our soul is god of our body. body amen and and be preserved blameless no preserved you know what god want to do he want to preserve you preservatives you heard about preservatives what is that preservative what are all the preservatives you use in the food normal thing is a salt yeah we put the salt it's a preserve it, it will not allow the food to be spoiled that's called preservative you know what god want to do he want to preserve you hallelujah amen 
it's it's a it's a he's god is a god who preserves you and me preserve you and blameless at the coming of our lord jesus christ this is a word promise prophecy everything you can take god want to preserve you be blameless till the coming of lord jesus christ hallelujah you have to memorize this scripture one of the important scripture for you spirit and next thing from this bible word you have to understand the order god put it with what is order body soul spirit our soul body spirit how the order what is order everybody say spirit ah uh, open your mouth and say ah uh. body ah uh, telugu ah uh, malayalam atmavu dehi deham hindi atma pran deg dega very good so this is the order god want human to live but what happened today there's a ulta opposite people living opposite how they how the devil changed perverted the order first body then soul finally spirit other that's why people go after 60 only pilgrimage <laughs> some people say, yeah everything you work hard and retire then you seek god many people say hey may i know many of the parents spiritual parents some of the pastors telling the children hey first study and uh, get a job secure yourself then you re- you go for a ministry or anything that no problem who who teaches like that not a secular people pastor telling the children <laughs> i rebuked one pastor like that what is this you say see the world things if you study if you get a job you are secured i say you are not secured if you get a job you are not secured tomorrow the job will go <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> anything can happen at any time so how they are operating mind soul operating they are living in soul they think they are spirit but they are in soul so body they first some people say why sir we are living only in tamil they so arajan vaithukranga vaalrom only <laughs> the people will say in our tamil only you live for the stomach no for what we live what a degraded understatement people believe like that we are not living for the body amen we are not living to gratify the fleshly desires we are living for something else amen the purpose of god amen why anna that is not coming because the order changed everything collapsed in our life the order when you set the priority right in your life you will be transformed totally amen see first priority what open your mouth and say first word spirit second soul third body that's why jesus said in math matthew 6:33 golden words everybody should memorize first seek the kingdom of god and its righteousness and all these things what is all these things needed for soul needed for body what is needed for body 6 matthew 6:25 to 32 it says about it what to eat what to drink what to eat what to dress people say in you know that no the essential needs of human being what are all the essential needs ha huh? food water shelter yeah and cloth for exa- example yeah there's four things you know food water shelter and cloth these four are the essential needs of the humans so what but what what jesus said hey don't worry about what to eat what to drink what to dress these things gentle seek but seek first the kingdom of god hallelujah 
so what happen the day you are thinking what i will eat what i will drink what i will dress what happened you are not in the spirit you come to the soul you come to the body today 99.99% the church worries about this <laughs> why they come for the meeting and a miracle needed for what i need a us visa <laughs> i need a government job i must get this money hi everything if you see all the prayer points most evangelists everybody say giving a prayer points 99% prayer points are revolving around soul and body no prayer point comes anna god must use me i must be an apostle go and plant churches hallelujah can any believer says like that the church because the church level is like that ministers also came to their level what level you send your prayer request we are here to pray for you the wasan i care will say we are here <laughs> why worry naanga irukom ungalku in a problem you live your life pa you live you sin no problem problem a red center request we will pray for you kanni road jabikiro we pray with tears lord let him get the us visa some prophets know how to get the offering nyana passport la us visa kanunu kanunu pastor prophet this will work more in kerala brother <laughs> pastor jomon what you are telling <laughs> some states have a craze no for going to the other country one is kerala second punjab now andhra also ielts ennam exam tofil exam <laughs> the day they born they believe their purpose is in a foreign country i'm not attacking <laughs> go to foreign and establish a church there i appreciate you hallelujah we have to go to all the world amen, amen. <laughs> but that should not be the only passion i'm telling because the soul and body drives you first is spirit everybody says spirit okay come back to genesis okay i'll how god created man how god created when you know oh you will understand the spirits important now the problem is because you don't know the spirit under uh, importance <coughs> we confuse everything sometime and also we don't know how to divide our spirit and soul only one book can divide your spirit and soul is the bible hallelujah nobody can differentiate it but when you read the bible when you are full of god's word when the holy spirit fills you you will separate hey this is a spirit desire this comes from soul this comes from body you will differentiate by differentiating that you will have a victorious life amen how many of you understand it very easy see when by i will take many sessions on this and also your thought life and your emotions and your body behavior craving of your flesh these are all the things only led you to sin how to overcome how to control the spirit soul body subject goes deep in you i tell you you will operate in the gifts of the holy spirit you can see visions and also uh, you can um, listen the voice of god very clearly hallelujah you will understand is it the voice of my flesh or is voice of my soul or voice of the spirit so you can discern very clearly what will happen you will live a victorious christian life amen so it is very important subject so come to genesis chapter 2 uh, verse 7 you all know the scriptures uh, 126 uh, also uh, okay 27 come 27 read it 
The first chapter, you know, God created. 127 also you read first. Before 127, what God did? God created everything for human. He created birds, animals. He created every creature. He created trees. Everything He created. After that only, God created a man. Hallelujah. See, He prepared everything. You know, how uh, people getting the son and daughter to get married, you know, they, pre they buy, buy, buy a house, they give, buy the fridge, they buy the washing machine, they buy the bed and bureau, and even some parents loving the daughter so much, they buy a very good Benz car for the son-in-law. Why, no? Then only my daughter will live. <laughs> so, so everything they prepare, then getting married, so that they want my son and uh, my daughter should enjoy the best of their life. After God created Adam and Eve, Lord, bless me, Lord. They didn't ask. God blessed them. But how we pray, Lord, bless me, Lord. How the minister says, Lord, we are going to pray for your blessing. How many of you want to blessing? I want to pray for your blessing. How many of you want to receive? They are confused now. <laughs> I'm going to pray for your blessing. Oh. <laughs> The Baraka subject, you have to understand. Adam and Eve didn't ask blessing. God blessed them. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Uh, and God, 127, God said, God created man in his own image. In the image of him, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Listen. <coughs> God didn't first create a man. After that, Adam comes and, Lord, I'm hungry, Lord. Oh, you, you. Oh, hungry, yeah, what to do? Okay, I create an apple tree. No. God created everything beforehand. I prophesy to you, for your life, everything is already done. Already finished. But you are searching for your donkey. <laughs> that is your problem. Everything is already created. See, for one Adam, one Eve, how much God created? Plenty, pa. People say even in today, even in India, so many forests, fruits are ripened and fall down and wasted. Even we are catching fish. How many fish, fish we catch? So many fishes, multitudes. Our God is a God of abundance. Amen. Our God is a rich God. Amen. The reason why you are not enjoying, you didn't understand everything is created. Everything is already prepared. So God created man <coughs> in plenty. Everything done, then only he created. So you have to understand, same way you also created as a new creation. You are a new creation. Yes or no? 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man is in Christ, you are a new creation. See how Adam was created, same way the day you Jesus came, you are created as a new creation. Before you are created, everything Jesus finished on the cross 2000 years ago. Amen. Hallelujah. So you no need to worry about anything. Okay, that I come to when I speak about spirit. Now we come to the history of creation. Human creation. So, one thing, 127, one point you can understand. God created man in his own image. Can you imagine? You are not created in a human image. You are created in a... Open your mouth and say, I am created in God's image. For example, God's image. See, how you say, both are exactly same. When they are exactly same only, you will say same image. Yes or no? Yeah, but the same, he's looking like same twins. I couldn't identify who is the person. Many times I miss the twins, no? Uh, one, one boy studied with us. Even after two, three years also, I miss them. One boy name is Ram, another boy name is Lakshman. I always confuse. Even after that, I studied with the boys. <laughs> Twins very, very difficult because same image, same face, 
same eyes out to find out you know when god created adam when adam was coming far away people saw no hey god is coming hallelujah <laughs> because same image when they come near by oh it's adam i thought it's god hallelujah <laughs> yes sir no don't worry brother it is not a uh, false doctrine it's a right doctrine only because god only said i am created man in my own image his image even you have even after fall man had the same image but the image was blurred marred the that the image was corrupted but still the human carrying the god's image okay another thing i tell you why devil hates human the reason is man is created in god's image you know what is the plan of the devil desire of the devil why he became a devil why lucifer angel you know lucifer is a angel worshiping angel was was thrown from heaven to the earth what is his sin what he want to become he want to become god he want to go above god actually that is his desire he want to become god what happened god pushed him down pulled him down today before that devil god creates man in his own image hallelujah <laughs> now how devil will see he is a the god he want to become but he couldn't achieve that and he was fallen now before his eyes god created a human being in his own image Amen. not only in his own image genesis 2:7 come it come come to read genesis 2:7 read everybody read see it's not a preaching time it's a teaching time teaching means you have to take the bible read it 2:7 everybody in your own language read slowly and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being see god created the image you know how man, the bible is very beautiful no god formed the man of the dust from the dust taking the clay making the formation forming giving a uh, frame to every member every organ he formed a statue before he breathing you can see a statue standing there in eden garden what statue what out of what clay mud you know the textile showroom you can see all the same way adam was standing nothing no life but only doll then bible says god breathed into his nostrils the breath of life you know here comes a super natural thing happened in a human all the other creations are created just like that by the word but a climax of human creation god did something very special everybody say special very 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 special tell you hello you are very special pa amen don't worry you are bad ugly don't say i am special why you are special amen god god everybody say god who created the heaven and the earth he bent down and breathed into the human nostrils can you imagine that can you visualize that you just a doll the one who created the whole heaven and earth coming down to eden garden and the small nose he breathed what happened something special happened everybody says something special from god something came into man hallelujah everybody say from god get excited hallelujah i am not it's not your church pa hallelujah abdin be casual 
இஃப் ஐ சே நான் லாஃப்னா லாஃப் என்ன சீரியஸாக இருக்காதீங்க பி பி ரிலாக்ஸ்டு ஃப்ரம் காட் எவ்ரி பிடி ஃப்ரம் காட் சம்திங் கேம் இன் டு மேன் ஹால லூயா யூ நோ வாட் ஹேப்பன் ஃப்ரம் தட் டே ஹீஸ் அர்த் அண்ட் வெசல் பட் கேரியிங் ஃப்ரம் ஹெவன்லி மெட்டீரியல் எவ்ரி பிடி சே மை ஸ்பிரு is a heavenly material my body is earthly material hallelujah actually man is a blend of earth and heaven what a special thing pa it is a, that's why you are very special amen that is why god is always uh, searching for you there's a gps in you <laughs> hallelujah you cannot escape anywhere <laughs> because from god something came inside of you so god is always in search of a man why god's material is in you Amen. tell you ane balo whether you are educated whether you are rich or poor whether you are this community or that community god's material is in you so you are very 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 special why not you laugh pa say hello <laughs> tell you neighbor hello i am very special pa amen when you why i am emphasizing this when you know this truth only you are, you will live a successful life your spirit is very special everybody say my spirit is a very special okay listen that's why even from the creation till now god is in search of a man amen is very special that's why um, psalms 8 when uh, psalmist is talking about uh, humans read it read it psalms 8 mm, 4 8 4 uh, 4 and 5 and 6 what is a man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him hey what is a man by your god is mindful of man now can you imagine <laughs> his mind is always thinking about what to do for humans what to do for them what to do for them is always mindful of human see think about the parents if i send the children to the school i always think okay 3 3:30 i have to send it sir car to chill pick up children always be mindful of our children same way god is mindful of you amen. and the son of man that you visit him you know god visited man why you are special your spirit is special amen. you are not just like that created by any other creature you are created by his breath amen. job 33 4 says Job 33, 4, read it. Job 33, 4. Hmm. Ah. Ah. The Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Listen to me. The life you have, the life Adam received came from the breath of the Almighty. the spirit of god that's why humans are special people they are not ordinary look 338 last word look 338 read it who is adam ah huh? no look 338 look 338 hmm the son of enosh the son of seth the son of adam the son of god hallelujah தமிழ் எப்படி இருக்குன்னா ஆதாம் தேவனால் உண்டானவன் இருக்கு தேவனுடைய மகன் தான் உண்மையான டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் சன் ஆஃப் காட் ஸோ தமிழை கொஞ்சம் மாற்றிக்கிங்க தமிழில் மட்டுமே படிக்கிறவர்களுக்கு கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டம் என்னடானா தேவனால் உண்டானவன் அப்போ யா கா அப்போ குதிரையும் தேவனால் உண்டானது நோ தேவனால் உண்டானவன் தான் பட் ஹவு ஹி இஸ் தேவனா ஹவ் ஹி வாஸ் கிரியேட்டட் from him something went to the human so he became a son hallelujah adam is a son of god okay how your children are your children from you something went 
from daddy from mummy something went that's why your baby born that's why you have a such a love for your children same way from god something went into human human became the son of god yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. So, you understand now yeah. why you are son of god amen adam had such a position and next uh, come back to uh, psalms 8 5 8-5, 8-5, you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. Actually, here, it is not little lower than the angels. It's a real Hebrew word, is little lower than the Elohim. Elohim means God. God made him little lower than God. You are, you are little lower than God. Hallelujah. Not angels. Angels are lower than us. They are our, they are our servants. Amen. When, when we command, hey angels, we command, they have to obey our voice. Yes or no? Angels are given at our command. So angels are our servants. But God made you and me little lower than God. We are the supreme creation. Wow, what a glorious people we are. But the devil, what the devil is telling you, the devil is telling you all the time, you are bad, you didn't educate it, you are, you are this community, you don't study well, you don't have money, you have a bad nature. All the time the devil is torturing you with this thought, you forgot how God created you. You know, devil, that's why I said, devil is a cunning fellow. He's a cheating fellow. He's a liar. Father of lies. That is why you are a failure. But in these three months, you are going to listen truth after truth. Every truth will take you to victory to victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. You know, when God created Adam, he put him on the glory upon him, honor upon him. Next word. 8-6, you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hand. Wow, dominion. No, dominion means what? Dominion is a kingly word. That's why kingdom. What is kingdom? King's domain. That word only united as a kingdom. So God, when God created Adam, his God's nature came, God's life came, God's nature came, God's authority came, God's rulership also came inside of him. Hallelujah. That's why dominion. Everybody said dominion. dominion. Another English word is dominating. Amen. You are created to dominate, not to be a slave, not to live a slavery life, to be under something, to sub. Submit to something oppressed by devil, suppressed by devil. That is not your real nature. Your real nature is a dominating nature. Adam created to dominion, to dominate, to rule over everything. You have next, you have put how many things under his feet? Read it, read eight, six. I want everybody to read the Bible. Take the Bible. See, if you are not reader, a Bible reader, na, then uh, the, nothing will go inside. Take row, uh, Psalms 8, 6. Uh, read it. You have put how many things under his feet? Everybody say, all things. When Adam came, all things under his feet. When he says one word, everything. Hey, lion, come. Lion will come. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Can you imagine what a dominating rulership Adam had put, put next word next word and sheep all sheep as what explanation all oxen even the beasts of the field in the beast and the lion also there amen bear also that tiger also that cheetah also that whatever you think all beasts birds of the air a fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea next word ah uh, nine Oh Lord, how excellent is your name on all the earth. Okay, listen to me. The creation, when you know it, 
it's not only adam don't say oh adam no it's a creation of you also <laughs> it's a first man i don't know you are a which crore man <laughs> the same he was created with the clay but after that you were god made another provision to create a man so the same applies for you and me amen what is the plan of adam plan for every human being god never changes plan if the plan for adam to have dominion that is the same plan for every human beings amen if adam is called to be have dominion i also must have dominion you know another thing i ask you why people want to be a leader political you see politicians somehow they want to become chief minister somehow they want to become mla even if you go to your job you want to become a manager you want a promotion you want to be a head all the time you never want to be a tail that's not a bad nature that's a god given nature amen why god put that put that nature in you to rule over everything but god's rulership is totally different because god is not there people use us the money muscle they manipulate they dominate they become dictators and they're destroying the human lives but the dominion thing is from god hallelujah if you understand this sin cannot have dominion over you sickness cannot have dominion over you <laughs> demon cannot have dominion over you you will rule over everything amen so this revelation only you changes you the way god created you so we are not in the plan how god created us we are not in that way we are came long way out of it why how our parents brought us up that's why we are our parents said what our teachers told us what our friends tell tell us that conditioned our brain that changed your thought life you think you are a failure you think you cannot come out of that addiction you think you cannot your family is a poor family you think i come from a low level people it is all from human people and from the devil these are all fills your mind today i tell you who you are you are the product of your thought amen till today what are all going on in your thought that is you if you think yes i can study nicely you will study nicely yes i can drive car if you believe you will drive car if you don't believe you cannot anything today if you are victorious means at least one area if you are victorious means that area you change your thought yes or no which area you are not able to change your thought that area you have become a failure so holy spirit want to give a right picture about you first then only every truth will work in your life i believe this is a foundation for you amen that's why i'm going a little um slow and teaching you word by word how god created you when you know this truth you will uh, every truth will be exciting for you amen. know the spirit man what kind of spirit you are of already you are listening it no yes, yes. yeah that will be powerful see annan's message is a is a word so every word is a revelation but when you know this your other areas a soul and body how it it affects you when you know this you will fix it and you will live a different christian life okay come to genesis 27 once again genesis 27 what are all word i give i am going to give you assignment also <laughs> even the next session is going to be assignment session so uh, don't think just listen read it or write it there what are all says that's why we given you notebook uh genesis 27 come back okay breath it into his nostrils the breath of life and man become a living being living being another word translation says man become a living soul living soul when god breathed that time two things came spirit and soul together 
See, you cannot separate spirit and soul. But in the Bible, we separate it. For our study's sake, we separate it. The spirit and soul goes together. And now how? I can give you an example. In the Bible, Lazarus died. Rich man died. They went to, one went to paradise, one went to hell. And Lazarus was in the bosom of Abraham. You know the story? Luke 16, I think. Luke 16, 22. Uh, Luke 16. Yeah. 22, yes. So it was the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. See, the rich man also died and buried. See, both of their bodies were buried. Listen to me. Bodies were buried. What? Who was taken? Bible says angels were taking. The body or spirit? Spirit. Hallelujah. The, the body buried. Actually, Lazarus' body was so bad. Some of the people didn't read the Bible. Go and read Luke 16. What, it, what is, who is Lazarus? Who is rich man? Lazarus has the fully all the, he's a sick and he's eating the, all the crumbs and everything, whatever pudding for the dogs he was eating, you can read before. And another man was a rich man. Both died. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to tell you good news and bad news. <laughs> all will die. Yes? Yeah, some people believe we will not die. Yeah, we will not die. We will die. <laughs> death has no power over our lives. Amen? We overcome death already. How many of you believe? See, our spirit will never dies. Actually, this earthen vessel may finish their job. Then we will switch from earthen vessel to glorious vessel. Amen. <laughs> Transfer of the vessel. Hallelujah. <laughs> from the fleshly body to spirit body. Amen. No death. I'll tell you, hey, no death. Pa. That means, that's why Paul says, the people who slept in the Lord. Amen. Slept. <laughs> when you close here, you will open the eyes there. That's all. Just, just uh, it's a no death. A Christian, a believer should not have a fear of death. Amen. Fear of death is from the devil. Amen. Okay, let's come back to here. Abraham, both, next word says 23. Both died and buried. And being in torments in heads, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Listen to me. Next word. Then he cried, said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am tormented in his flame. Okay, listen. Spirit went also along with the soul also there. Soul means soul only can feel the feelings, emotions, memories. So the rich man can see Lazarus and find out, oh, he's a Lazarus. And he's, he's in pain. Pain comes in the soul. So he has a soul. And next, he can identify. So that means a spiritual body also there. Amen. So it's all... Mm, next word, next. And Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things. And likewise, Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and you are tormented. Why? I want to tell this. Spirit and soul goes together. Spirit and soul came. When Adam created, spirit and soul came into him. Okay. Now, come to another thing. After God created man, man was dominated by the spirit. Hallelujah. Who was leading him? Spirit. So, when the spirit is leading him, soul and body was under control. Some people are asking, Anna, what is soul? Soul has three things. Mind, emotions, and will. Everybody say mind, emotion, and will. This is a soul. Okay, you think. And who are all studied people? If you studied up to 10th standard, what science you know? It is in your mind. 
Yes or no? You know the phone number now. You know your city name. You don't know China city name. You know where you are living. <laughs> because what are all knowledge came inside, it's stored in your mind. That is a part of your soul. And emotion. Sometimes you are joyful. Sometimes you are getting angry. Sometimes you are crying. Sometimes you are so sad. That's the emotion part. Emotion. Third is a will. Will is a decision making uh, area of a human. God didn't create you as a robo. If you are a robo, very easy. Adam would have not seen, Eve would have not seen. <laughs> when he was going to touch, I don't. He's going to take the fruit that time. Gee, God switch off the brain and hand will be like this. Then God will say, hey, don't touch. Turn. <laughs> Not like that. You know, God created man like him. How God is? Same way man is. God has a self-will. Man has a self-will. That's why I always, I always feel when the people who don't want to come here, we will not take them. Some people, parents think magic will happen in Baraka. <laughs> they force the children, hey, go, go. If they come here, what will happen? <laughs> Unless you open up. That's why gospel. Jesus said, I knock at the door. If anybody listen and opens his heart, I will enter into him and I will, I will eat with him. See, Christian life is a volunteer life. A, a man who, a God created a man with self-will, freedom. You can choose anything. Yes or no? The, choo uh, the authority to choose is not in God's hand, it is in your hand. Amen? Amen. Uh, if you take, make right choices with the help of the Holy Spirit, you will go higher and higher and higher. Amen. But your choice is influenced by the devil. You are a dangerous fellow. <laughs> Tomorrow you kill anybody also. <laughs> yes or no? See the decision making. If it is influenced by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit says, hey, this is your plan for your life. Say yes to this. Say yes, say, Lord, I want to do your ministry, Lord. I want to serve you, Lord. Every time God gives a plan, you say, yes, yes, yes. Your life will go from glory to glory to glory to glory. But the devil will say, hey, say yes now. Your flesh says, see now. Keep the mobile phone. <laughs> Don't give. You have to talk to that girl, no? <laughs> Hide it. Use it. Yeah, that's in you, no? Do it now also. No, no, no. I'll go and tell Alexana so that I can overcome. No, no, no. Don't tell now. They will think bad about you. What to do? Hide it. Keep it secret. Anything hiding, keeping it secret. Then the devil says, you allow the will... The, your will says, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. What you said is right. You listen to the voice of the devil. Your will was influenced by the devil and you take decision. Actually, devil also cannot push you to do everything. He will also influence your will. Holy Spirit also influence your will. But Holy Spirit is a gentle person. He'll say, can you pray? Can you read Bible? Why not you forgive? It's a very gentle voice. But the, what the devil will say is a compelling force. The devil will push you. That's why many times you just commit sin. No, the push comes. Pushing you to do the sin. But every choice is in your hand. Hallelujah. So the soul. So the soul is very important. I'm going to explain you now. Spirit, soul and body. When God created Adam... He was dominated by the spirit. The spirit was controlling the soul also. His mind, his emotion, his will. So both the spirit and soul together controlling the body. That's why Adam living a victorious life. 
he never committed any sin till that day come genesis chapter 3 came till, till genesis chapter 2 only three voices in eden garden what are all the three voices huh? adam eve and god what a glorious life it is i want to tell you as long as you hear god's voice your life will be victorious amen when the another voice comes, that's why some boys will say, Anna, as long as I'm in the class, I want to be like that. I want to change. But I, when I go to room, my mind changes. Why? They didn't listen God's voice, practicing God's voice. How to listen God's voice in your room? This is God's voice. Read the Bible. When you read the Bible, from there God will speak. The continue to listen God will change your mind. The mind change, emotion will change. What will happen? No, your will also will change. Amen. Then your soul will completely submit to the spirit. Okay. Spirit, soul and body. Actually, can you three people come? Can three people come? Quickly. Run, run, run. Mm. Okay, come, come. Okay, right. Ah, spirit, soul, and body. Okay? You, you see that. Here, the spirit he is a part. It communicates to God. Spirit connects with the spiritual world. Soul connects with the conscious world. That means mm, feelings, emotions. You can touch a person. That soul you can touch. How you touch the soul? Tell a sad story. <laughs> you know what happened in my life? I was a beggar on the street. I don't have eat, nothing to eat. If you say a sad story, ladies will cry. Take the kerchief. <laughs> You're touching their soul. Yes or no? When you are, some people like the intellectual subjects. When they, when they give a beautiful lecture, the, the intelligent people will say, wow, what a knowledge. They were appreciating, admiring them. So you can touch. The world touches the soulish part of the people. Why cinema go, uh, is successful? Why? They touch the soul. But what does a hero, but he hits. When they hit, he will become very joyful. <laughs> what an acting. Bah. Now why? What acts that, that uh, feeds your soul? What a song it is. That also, you are touching your emotion. So, the cinema world, the entertainment world, entertains the soul. Anything, pornography, all the media, social media. Why, why you are seeing all the Facebook stories? You want to know? <laughs> you are happy sometimes. You are joy, seeing the comedy, you laugh. So it entertains. So the, today the world is feeding the soul so much. What happened? Uh, a defeated life. When your soul is strong, I tell you, you cannot live a victorious life. When your soul is feed, fed by the world, you are a worldly person. This is connected with the, this one. Okay. Another also, the soul is a prayer pray where you are self-conscious. Oh, I am bad. I am good. Hey, I am a rich man. Oh, I am a very, very low person. I cannot control my anger. How you think? This soul only tells you. Hey, that day you attacked that boy, no? You did the sin, no? Before you come to the school, still you didn't change. You cannot change. This mind says, so convinced the mind, the soul is stored with the things till today what happens? It speaks naturally. But I want to tell you, you are not a natural person. You are a supernatural person. Amen. The soul doesn't know another element, spirit is there. Inside God is living. Inside Holy Spirit is living. And you have a calling of God. When you allow the spirit, the spirit will influence the soul. Amen. How many of you understand this? Many times, you are allowing only soul. 
only living in the soul soulish life that's why you are not reading bible why you are not reading bible you live a soulish life you don't see any need for the bible you don't see any need for prayer you don't see any need to pray with the people why you don't understand the priority and importance of the spirit man and you are complaining coming and asking every pastor pray for me pastor what pastor will do he will pray but tomorrow to live a victorious life your soul must be changed your mind must be renewed your emotion must be healed your will power should come under the control of the spirit then only you can live a victorious life this job is given in your hand but you are putting that job also on god's hand anna miracle needed anna where what to do importation needed where to go go to america africa everywhere you go you will fall down next day come and here also you will fall down <laughs> that will never change your life only change will come when you change your soul amen okay before fall of adam what happened because nobody corrupted adam and eve mind their mind was a fresh mind amen they don't have any problem their emotion also not hurt their will was under the control of the spirit see actually they are naked also <laughs> this body connecting with the world that's why the body is a very very sometimes very bad because you go outside you see everybody you touch everything you see everything this body is connecting with the outer world that is why it's a vulnerable to the attack of the enemy spirit is a noble part of your life body is the part where everybody sees you you have to connect with this world so many times the attack comes in your body amen to crave for sin you suddenly fall everything the reason is this is the body that carries us everybody sees us they didn't see our spirit they see our face if you are beautiful also problem if you are ugly also problem <laughs> if you are if you are if you are, if you think you are very bad looking what will happen no you feel rejected and you will get angry inside and you will become a uh, don <laughs> if they don't other people will not accept you you will make them to accept it shit them very heavily then everybody asks anna they will say ah come why the college la rowdies are big, boys become done no they will be they are rejected boys they want a control how to take control hit the five people <laughs> why rowdies are born why dons are born why in the childhood parents rejected when the rejection comes how to make people to accept me soul says you can't earn them by love and all he don't have love he never received love what to do make them fearful get angry hitting people immediately people will be fearful all will come then he will be more enjoying the power hit more and kill more and become a don but inside he is a fearful man hello these are all the reasons today the humanity you see a rowdy you no know? you are fearful i tell you he is a broken man his a his a soul is so broken he wants some acceptance from the human how to get it that's how murder the criminals are born when you see i i always the auto boys will come from pundi and all you see them no very strong people sometimes they are full of the alcohol <laughs> i talk to them very nicely i call them i speak very nicely even sometime i scold them also <laughs> because i show love to them when i show love you know even the that's such a boys you no know, outside they are very arrogant boys but when they come to me sir <laughs> so long as yes sir i pray for them sometime i pray they fall down demon deliverance also happened <laughs> so it is a, it is a you can see, you see inside the church today failed because see outside 
Oh, they are all bada boy, boys. Yo, yo, don't go near. Even in my college days, all the rowdy boys are my friends. <laughs> Even those days, I was anointed. I was doing ministry. But who you are all doing all the things, no? I'll call them. I'll become friendly with them. You know what they say? Alex, you are very, very good. N- nice boy. I'm a bad boy, you will say. <laughs> I'll tell them, hey, it's not, you are not bad. You can allow God. God will make you good, I tell them. Amen. It is all what God does inside will change every man, everyone. Amen. Nobody is bad. Everybody open your eyes and say, nobody is bad. I am not bad. I am good. Amen. Everybody is good. But who changed that? Devil did that. Hallelujah. Before Genesis third chapter, Adam and Eve, they were living in a perfect harmony with God. Perfect relationship with God. There's no problem in between God and man. But devil knows, understood, he came in between God and man. Genesis third chapter. What happened? Okay, I want to show you what happened in Genesis third chapter. First word, serpent came. Fourth voice came in Eden Garden. Till now, only three voices. Now, fourth voice. What? Read it. I want everybody to take the Bible. Don't close it. Genesis 4, 1, read. Mm. Yeah. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord had, God had made. Okay, the serpent, you know, the devil. Actually, the serpent may be influenced by the devil, I don't know. Or it uh, represents the devil. You know, 2 Corinthians 11.3, Paul says like this. 2 Corinthians 11.3, also read it. Ah, with serpent. Hmm. Second Corinthians eleven three, and also Revelation twelve nine. Uh, uh, I fear lest somehow as a serpent deceive Eve by his craftiness. Okay, here also Second Corinthians uh, Revelation twelve nine. Revelation twelve nine also three words. You can see that words. Uh, it will give you an understanding. Is who is serpent? Uh, so the great dragon was cast out. The serpent of old. Old serpent. Where it was? Eden Garden. So a very old, no? <laughs> In Eden Garden serpent. Old called the devil. Read it, read it. Read the Bible. 12, 9. Read called devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Okay. Who is the serpent? Devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. Don't think only Eden Garden he deceived. Even today he deceives you. Before you come here, how many areas he deceived you? If you fall into sin, if you are in a failure, the reason is not people. It's a devil. No, not that boy only, that girl only, even behind them, devil. You understand? Who is the reason? Open your mouth and say Devil is the reason. Any sin, any fall, any problem happens in your life or any human life, the reason is a devil, cunning devil, world devil, devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. Outside people are there. Politicians, cinema, Bollywood, Hollywood, Tollywood, whatever would. Influenced by the devil. Yes or no? They are thinking we are successful in our career, but they are leading thousands of young people to devil, corrupting, exposing their nakedness, heroines. They are, they are deceived by the enemy. They think, I become a fame heroine. No. The devil, serpent, deceive them. Here, come to Gen- Genesis 4, 1. Again, come back. Genesis 4, 1. Mm. Actually, serpent means you should not just sing serpent. It's a devil. Amen? Read. Come back. Genesis 4, 1. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 3, 1. 3, 1. Sorry. 3, 1. Now the serpent was not 4, 1. Sorry. 3, 1. 
The, now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God man. He said to the woman, has God indeed said you shall not eat every tree of the garden? See, God already told if you eat that tree, you will die. But what the devil says, twisting, has God told you, you should not eat every tree of the garden? <laughs> Next word, immediately, see, the Eve should have done one thing, hey, there's no connection between you and me. Why you come to talk to me? Just she could have resisted it because she's starting a conversation. The problem with you and me, you know, we, we become passive. What? Passive means what? Not a problem, Anna. Mobile, Anna. Not a problem. I see only comedy, Anna. What is the problem? Today, comedy. Oh, which film in this comedy? You will see the full movie. After movie, what will happen? No, then another movie. <laughs> another movie you will see, and in that some very bad scenes will come, then it will create, you, induce your emotion, then, oh, you, uh, then what will happen? You will go into pornography. It's not the end with the comedy. Some of the young boys say, Anna, what is wrong, Anna? Nothing wrong. I am not telling wrong. <laughs> it's not about right or wrong, good or evil. <laughs> That's a problem of the fruit. Everybody say, hello, fruit problem. Fruit, no. What is the fruit? Knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve, before fall, they didn't live by good and evil. They lived by the spirit. Hallelujah. Everybody there living by the Spirit. Amen. Adam and Eve lived by the Spirit. Now devil came. They are telling, hey, if you eat this fruit, it is good. God didn't say like that. God didn't say good or bad. Christian life is not a good, bad life. Everybody open our mouth and say, Christian life is not good and bad life. Living in the Spirit. Amen. So, what happened? Human said, we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. Next word. And, but one word, one, about this tree, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. God said, okay. You know what the devil said? Next word is a liar. Three, four. This is what nature of the devil what devil said, that serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. Just opposite of God said. Whatever comes in your mind, opposite of God said, is devil. Lie of the devil. You know, John 8.44 says, he's not a liar, he's a father of lies. <laughs> he's a father of lies. He said, you shall not surely die. Another thing I tell you, Anna, okay, he says, why ye obeyed devil? Can you tell me why? What is the reason? She heard God also. Now devil speaks. Why not she choose? Huh? Because of the animal, he was deceived. She was deceived. No, God said, no, you will die. What he says? Adhanara temptaita. Belief. Very good. Yeah. I tell you one word, simple word. Words are powerful. Amen. Everybody say words are powerful. Conversation is powerful. What you hear is very powerful. Amen. That's what I tell people. Hey, don't see unnecessary things. People say, eh, nothing will happen. No. Every word is very powerful. Even your neighbor says one word. One word negative about other boy. The next day you see him, you will, you will keep distance. Even he come and praise the Lord, brother. Yesterday you also bubbled, but today, ah, praise the Lord. That boy will think, what happened? Yesterday he was nice, no? Because your roommate said something about him. 
that word affected your mind maybe this boy is bad huh? why to keep distance then before that he was lovingly bubbling joy will go praise the lord brother you don't know the power of the word first attack of the devil you think i was thinking no those yeah, i was born and brought up in pentecostal church very traditional pentecostal church so everybody said devil attacked devil satan attacked i thought satan means when i was a small boy you know sunday class school schools then i thought in our vbs we have a program we put the black dress and two horns and black paint and we play like that sutri varuvan satan summa veda maatan yetti pidithu unnai vilunga vagai paarpan valil sikidamal velithu jabam pannu veda vasanam koori eduth nindru vel that song when i was a small boy Six, seven years old, I learned. So I always, devil means I have a picture, two horns, black dress. <laughs> This is my picture. And even night he will choke. <laughs> the blood, blood of Jesus. Sometimes it happened to me also when I was a young boy. I, doesn't, I didn't deny that. That kind of attack will come. I'm not telling. But attack of the devil means immediately we see some manifestation. Devil will be coming and pushing you. but the first attack of the devil first attack of the devil in the bible is not attacking choke he come and talk everybody say talk pa speaking saying some words that is attack you know the first attack is just conversation you think you no know, uh, unbeliever boy is my close friend i tell you is a matter of time you will become like that unbeliever boy anna i am loving an unbeliever girl and i will change her you will not change you will change <laughs> anna i have a friend and how to cut that friend anna he is my close friend i tell you close friend is ampa but he is a son of the devil <laughs> you are a son of god what he speaks influenced by the devil when he speaks you listen many people don't come to the ministry you know they listen to their people they say hey you know stock invest in stock invest in crypto coin now hey now is the time pa our people never listen god also <laughs> because 200% profit 300% profit 500 kada zero zero minus profit <laughs> losing everything and coming back anna i i lost you didn't listen god <laughs> you listen an unbeliever the problem today i i see it is not a, i'm telling you also in many areas you listen an unbeliever you think it's a just a friend it is not a friend it's a devil lying through them hallelujah so what happened you will not surely die next word is very 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 important you know what happened god speaks to your spirit devil speaks to your soul everybody say god speaks to my spirit devil speaks to my soul you know what uh, uh, devil speaks to eve ah uh, god knows that in the day you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like god knowing good and evil next word ah see she said no you will be like god i ask i one other question eve is already like god or not yeah god created her in the image of god you know what the devil is telling hey you miss something pa you know devil tells uh, people hey because you born in a christian family you miss something adu pastor children are more attacked by the devil they think ah, everybody enjoys i miss something i miss something oh they are all going whenever they want to go but for me i have to be in the church every time every time meeting every time meeting no you are not missing something you gained much in your christian life yeah. what other people don't have you have how many of you pastor children here can you stand up can you stand up please pastor children stand up 
I know you are the people attacked more by the devil than other people. Because the devil is lying you, you miss something. If they, my parents would have earned, I would have lived by other people, like that other people. How many of you say, yes, Anna, I had some kind of, why I born in a pastor family? Sometimes the devil spoke to me, lift your hands honestly. In any point of my life, I thought like that. You didn't think like that. Lift your hand up, huh? Nina, first, very good. You didn't never think. Very good. I appreciate such people. You didn't think like that. Not even one time. Very good. So, okay, put it. Honest people they are. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. I tell you, pastor children, you are a privileged people. Amen. Amen. You are a privileged people. I'm not a pastor, son. But your generation blessings are upon you. Your parents built a ministry. You were within, always in the spiritual atmosphere. What a glorious life it is. The devil said, hey, Eve, you are all the time, God has to tell you to eat. Now when you eat this fruit, you will know good and evil. You no need to depend on God. Why all the time depend? Why all the time listen to God? Why all the time pray, pray, pray to take decision? My parents will not allow me to do anything. <laughs> See that boy immediately went to Delhi, immediately went to there. I have to wait and wait. Devil is a liar. You know, he appealed to the soul, emotions. Another thing I tell you, anybody's words induces your emotion, uh, induces your flesh. Any relationship, you are talking to a girl. After talking to the girl, you are disturbed. You always, that face comes in your mind. Want to talk again, stop that. That is dangerous zone. You already crossed. <laughs> Even married people, not only unmarried. <laughs> <laughs> that also dangerous. So the tree was good for food. It was pleasant, feeling pleasant to the eyes. To the eyes. Yella soul flesh da. Ah, and the tree desirable to make one wise. See, after listening to the devil, everything changed. Her mind changed, emotion changed, and soul says, Hey, devil said, no, now it's good. Eat, eat, eat. Immediately body obeyed. Go. Plucked, eat, finished. Finished. Appeal to the senses. Five senses. The five senses are soul. I... Taste, hear, feeling, all are soul. Many times, the devil, how he deceived you, by appealing to your soul. That's why I say, why movie is bad? It appeals to your soul. After three hours of movie, you think yourself as Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> or Amir Khan, I don't know, latest uh, movie stars. Uh, or Rajini, Tamil Nadu, Rajini, or now Vijay. <laughs> so, when they think Vijay, when any girl comes, they think of another heroine. Three hours of movie will store in your mind so much, after that, even in one year, it will not go out of your mind. It, 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 it changes your every action of your life. Every thought pattern changes. You don't know what an attack of the enemy in your life. You think just an entertainment. Your mobile phone is a reason for all your downfall. Today, you may supposed to be somewhere, even in your study, I tell you. Leave the ministry. Why you didn't study well? Why you didn't come up in your life? Why problem? I tell you, the reason is, you give in to the soul and flesh. You went after the drug, alcohol, because of your friend's talk. They appeal to you and say, hey, come down, one day try. <laughs> I never see a person spending money to make another person to learn good habit. <laughs> but I always see a boy, hey, I give da, come da. I also studied in the college, government college, Adu. Government Arts College. Always fight will come. Our boys, you know, second year, third year fight. Our boys have a feeling, in my 
year, the college should go close, indefinite close, IDC. If they put that indefinite close, our third year boys are very happy. We made it law. He's all shouting. College closed one week, indefinite. Why? Fighting between second year, third year. <laughs> I tell you, the devil cheated people. They were so arrogant. But they take them to the money, paying money and taking them to the drink. I never knew any boy paying good money to make the people to learn good habits. Today, maybe if you have fallen into the drug or sin or anything, it's because of your friend's talk. Why? They appeal to your soul, your, your body, to gratify your flesh. I tell you, after 30, 40, everything will go. You will lose your health. You will sh nobody will take care of you. I know people suffering a lonely death. Lonely death. Because what they did enjoyed in the youth. It is a dangerous Devil is a killer. Devil is a liar. He always appealed to your senses and your flesh. All these days you enjoyed it. But three months school, the Lord brought you here to take a stand. To take a radical stand. No more devil. I am not going to see my soul or flesh. I am going to live by my spirit. How many are going to take a decision like that? Amen. Okay. Now I come. I want to say sorry. Long time they are here. <laughs> See, when the spirit was dominating, soul and body was subdued by the spirit. But what happened? Eve heard devil's voice. She ate the fruit. God said, you surely die. They died. She died. She didn't know. She died. Sit down. Sit, sit. The day she ate the fruit, she died. The spirit died. The spirit dead means spirit was connecting with God. Communication with God. The connection got cut. When the connection got cut, what happened? Soul and body took over a man. Now, mind thinks, what is good, we'll do. What is bad, I don't want to do. Not you. Even an unbelievers live a better life than you. I know many people, they live very good life, moral life. They give to the poor. They don't lie. They don't take bribe. They live such a life. That is not a Christian life. That is a good and bad life. But you are called to live by the spirit. Yeah. Amen. But now the spirit dead. Now the mind, emotion, will and body take charge. Now the spirit was to dominate, but spirit is not there. Now, soul and body let the, pe let the man. What happened? Genesis, even when they were driven out of garden, Abel and Cain both brought the offering to God. God accepted the offering of Abel, rejected the offering of Cain. Immediately, Bible says, Cain's face changed. What changed? Everybody say, very dangerous. Face changing, very dangerous. Hallelujah. I, we in our staff, you know, we shout at stuff. We hit the ego. See the face. If the face changes, still this bias need to be worked out inside. Amen. <laughs> they were very nice. When we, uh, correction time. When you hit the, when you touch their self, soul, how they behave, we have found out whether that person is in the spirit or soul. Even if you shout, yes or no, it's my fault. I should have done, I should not have done that. Yes. If they accept, the face will not change. But they are soulish people, emotion people, fleshly people. If you correct, they will say, mm. they get angry. They will say, okay. I go. <laughs> we say go. <laughs> we never give in to the flesh, the manipulation of the people. Many times people manipulate. Okay, that's another thing, another story. Here, soul and body led. Cain face changed and he was thinking, how oh, no? God only didn't accept. Then we had to ask God, no. Instead, who's accepted? He compared. Comparison. Okay. He was accepted. Huh? Anger comes. Jealousy comes. And another anger, 
Jealousy leads to another spirit. What spirit? Murder spirit came. Immediately, he took the stone and killed him. Why you know? The day the God's spirit left him, the spirit dead means God's connection cut off. One connection cut off, another connection came. What connection? God's connection went, whose connection came? Devil connection. I always jokingly say, BSNL SIM cut, take it out and Geo SIM came. <laughs> so now another SIM is working. Here communicating. Devil says, hey, Abel, accepted? You have accept, not accepted. Huh? Kill him immediately. That's why 1 John 3, 12, you can say, 1 John 3, 12, how Cain killed Abel? Not by himself. You may say, it's nature, Anna. My nature, Anna. Not, not your nature. Whose nature it is? Devil's nature. First John 3, 12. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked one and murdered his brother. See, when the Cain was not killing Abel by himself, the spirit of murder came upon him. Anger came upon him. Jealousy came up in him. By the spirit of murder, he killed Abel. Everybody say, Cain... Killed by the spirit of murder. Why you know? Again I tell you, devil hates human. They are in, created in God's nature. Say the devil used a vessel. Hey, this boy is open. <laughs> Cain is open. Now, use him. If you have an open door, devil will use you. Okay. Now what happened? These two only leading them. Whatever mind thinks they live. Whatever emotion says they live. Today, outside world, how they live? Ephesians 2, 2 and 3. Read it, Ephesians 2 and 2 and 3. This is the life that you also lived one time. Read it. Take it, take, take and read. Next session, what are all I, I, I'm giving you scripture, you have to um, write once again and you have to write your thoughts on that. Okay. In which ones... You once walked according to the course of this world. According to the... Listen to me. Once. Before salvation. Before Christ came in your life. How you lived? Like this only. How? According to the course of this world. Other boy says, I also do. According to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Next word. Three. Two, three. Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in lusts of our flesh. Listen, lust of our flesh. That's a flesh, okay. And next, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind. See here, this, these are two parts, soul and body. And were by nature children of wrath just as the others. So, Unbeliever, a person who didn't accept Christ, a fallen man, picture is this. Spirit dead, this desire, flesh desire, the both only leading a man. That's why they rape the people, they kill the people, they murder the people, they bribe, get the bribe. They don't have any conscience in them. There's no spirit to control them. Such a Today's world, why it is like that, they don't have the spirit. We also lived like that. Once upon a time, before Christ came in our life, our life was like this. Paul says, some things that you did, even you are ashamed of saying outside. Ashamed, oh, I did like that. Ah. The thoughts you had. Read it, Genesis chapter 6. What happened to the thought life of a human? Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Very difficult, huh? Sitting. Like, sit nicely. Yeah, put. <laughs> yeah, sit. Sit, pa. Don't worry. It's okay, pa. Ah. 5, 6, 5. Read it. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of a man was great in the earth and that every intent, underline the word, after the fall, 
every intents of the thoughts of his heart was he only will continue underline the word every intent of thoughts underline only he will often no rarely ya continually appa how a human mind become every time all the 24 hours thought is evil and every intent of thought think panna like evil da there's no good thing in man can you imagine but before genesis third chapter just opposite every intent of thought is only good continually hallelujah after the devil's voice heard only he will continually can you understand amen today you understand why the world is like this because their thoughts are bad why they don't have the spirit they didn't born again now you have to understand what happened to you on the day of salvation hallelujah your salvation is not a just oh blessed be the lord i accepted christ 10 years ago praise the lord <laughs> it is not like that your salvation is powerful salvation amen. what a miracle that happened on that day amen i tell you you are talking about this miracle cancer healing creative miracle anna that spirit transportation miracle so many miracles we speak but i tell you your salvation is a greatest miracle that day what happened ephesians 2:1 happened read it ephesians 2:1 what happened ephesians 2:1 shakla rabada randana saraba read everybody read i want why i give time no all should take the bible and see the word when you see the word you will get the truth on the uh, uh, this uh, subject take ah uh, and you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins hallelujah 25 25 also ah uh. ah uh. made us alive together with christ hallelujah what happened you were dead in your sin you are dead in your trespasses before christ came one day you accept you heard the gospel you said jesus come into my life wash me by your blood you know jesus blood has jesus life amen there's a life in the blood bible says so when you say jesus wash me by your blood what happens the life of jesus that entered into your spirit and quickened your soul jump jump hallelujah what happened your spirit is quickened hallelujah everybody say my spirit is alive my spirit is living hallelujah outside spirit are dead spirit amen but my spirit is alive hallelujah so that was dead in sin that means sin was controlling sin power is death that was broken that day life came into your spirit what happened that is your first day of your christian life amen can you remember your first days of christian life you are so joyful amen and what happened all these days only your my body soul and body was leading you the day you accept christ what happened your nature changed your your desire changed you like the bible wherever you saw christian meeting you go there amen you you, you whether you understand it or not you enjoy everything yes or no you love to go to church you uh, hold your hand uh, hold your hand you're going to the church spirit says we'll go to the church immediately soul yes sir body will say yes sir immediately you'll go to the church amen go to the <laughs> amen 5 o'clock and the service no problem amen going to, in the church some help oh i do it pastor i will do it you will be so joyful to do god's things amen why your spirit is connected to god amen. till then there's no spirit in your life today spirit is alive so when you when you worship you love like it you don't know why but you like it you didn't understand the message but you like it <laughs> yes or no you go to the church you clap your hands you are joyful when you see the pastor you you see like an angel when you see the believers you love it 
but you don't know why. You know why? Your spirit is alive. So you are, you are seeing other spirits are alive, you want to join with that party. Amen? Very good. Hallelujah. But this goes, goes, good, very good. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is, your spirit, soul, body, the three things also have need to be fed every day. Amen? Three things go needed food, some food. What is for your body? Food. Idli today. <laughs> See, today here Italy, but some people like Italy not. But how you fed your body? Any day you starved your body? One week I forgot to eat, Anna. Anybody's here? We feed our body very nicely, you know. <laughs> we three times, four times, five times, our problem is overeating, not less eating. <laughs> so... We take care. That is nobody need to tell you. You take the body very nicely. Okay. Another soul. I already told you. What is the food for your soul? All entertainment. All, all the story, all the, your mobile phone time, everything feeding your mind. Yes or no? Even your study. You study nicely. That, that education goes into your mind. So everything, no? All, uh, and your soul needs some recreation all the time. Eh? Boring per class all the time. <laughs> we need some entertainment, you know. All the time, ministry, ministry, some entertainment. That's why go, people go for entertainment. That always entertainment. That's why people like cinema. That entertains the soul. Okay, that is that. These are all the people, outside people feeding the soul. Now I change you. The, uh, Surya Prakash said another word. For a believer. For a God's child, what is a feed for the soul? Word. Hallelujah. When you feel the spirit, soul with the word, what will happen? The word will change the mind. If you don't feed the word, mind will not change. That mind will not change means the mind will go to the world life. <laughs> it will desire the world things. But here, a quick and spirit says, pray. But the mind says, Hey, you did like that, no? How we were enjoying that? Suddenly now you say no. <laughs> Why not we little just to see a mobile? Just chatting only, no? We are not doing any harm. Just chatting, enjoy the chat. That's not thing, nothing wrong in that, no. <laughs> Your mind will say. But spirit will say no. Spirit will say no. He may say, okay, 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 okay. I'll not do that. Yeah, before we do that, not, not now. <laughs> You'll accept, okay. And day by day, what happens? Your spirit also need to be strengthened. Your spirit also need the word. Yes or no? Soul needs word. Spirit also needs word. Spirit needs anointing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Fellowship with the people. Going to the church regularly. Fellowshipping with the believers. If you do that, as long as you are doing it, you are victorious. Amen. After some time, the truth is not going inside. Busy. Maybe some work and all. Busy, 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 busy. Maybe you allowed some hurt. Sometimes. Then what happens? Suddenly you stop. Church, reading, fellowship, worship, everything stops. What happened? Spirit is alive but weak. Spirit is alive but weak. What happened? Slowly, opposite party rises up. <laughs> now ruling party become weak. Na? <laughs> Opposition party and joining alliance. Nobody knows. Your spirit doesn't know. Your spirit thinks, I am good only, no? We are nice only, going to the church. Suddenly rebellion comes, amen. Suddenly comes, what happens? You, you imagine, you didn't believe, I did that sin, no? Anna, I never believed, I will do such a sin, Anna. <laughs> Why? It's not started one day, day by day, 
day by day, weaker, 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 one month, two months, three months, and you are allowed, you become grew cold, you don't have fellowship with God, no God's voice, no fellowship, so slowly your mind taking over, your soul becomes stronger, you get hurt, you are irritable, you are getting angry. That's why a relationship problem comes and what happens? Spirit grip, cut off. Before that, you are joyful. Now, come into the church. Pastor A knows. Before that, he is joyful, coming to the ministry. He wants to worship. Now, he is sitting in the last row. After the worship only, he comes to the church. Before communion, he will leave the church. What is happening? Nothing, no problem. No problem. Inside something is going on. Inner defeat. You know. You cannot share with anybody. Am I telling the truth? Amen. Uh, what happened? Maybe suddenly a, a revival meeting happens in the church. A pastor comes. You come to the meeting. There, the anointing comes. Immediately you get... So immediately the Holy Spirit comes. You ask, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Sorry, Lord. You again, the spirit of prayer comes. The anointing comes. You again, you read the word. Again, you become joyful. You become spirits, become stronger. Amen. Before that, this bo both are pulling you like this. Pulling you like this. Uh, go, 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 go and come. Uh, uh. Pulling you to all the sad, bad things. Now, after the meeting happens, a revival meeting, after that spirit becomes jumping. Now you go again to the prayer, again to the word, again to the word. And after some time, after some time, again, again that goes. <laughs> then another revival meeting, another meeting again like this. <laughs> Our Christian life is like a cycle. <laughs> up one time, down, up, down the graph, you know. And uh, January 1st, I made a decision. This year or no. <laughs> After January, the 15th day out, I love, I love decision. You know? <laughs> okay, this is a life. The reason is, the, the reason I tell you is, the focus should be on our spirit all the time. Amen. When you lose the focus of you, who you are, you lose everywhere. Amen. Amen. Actually, who are you? I want to tell you. You, who you are, already untold. That's why I am telling much about it. You are a spirit. Everybody say, I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in this body. Amen. So, who is the boss? Spirit is the boss. Amen. So, how you have to live everyday life? Spirit. Which one you have to feed first before feeding your body? We ate 10 chapati, but not even one chapter. But how your spirit will be, Pa? <laughs> you, must eat, you must feed before feeding your body, feed your spirit. Amen. How many of you understand? And I tell you, when Jesus entered into your spirit, your spirit is not little bit changed. Your spirit changed 100%. How much changed? Exactly like God. Amen. Your spirit is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, your spirit has a capacity to have God inside. Where is God? In your spirit. What a place it is. Wow. Who you are? You are a God man. Man, God. Hallelujah. God is inside of your spirit. Actually, you are not natural man. Tell you, hello. You are not natural. In, your, in my spirit, the creator of the whole universe is living inside of me. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Shala rakatara. See. My spirit has a such a capacity. What a capacity. Even I can hold God in my spirit. That's why the Bible says, don't you know, you are the temple of God. Amen. In Jerusalem, people are going for Israel to, to see the Jerusalem temple. You are the temple of God. I am the temple of God. 
Amen. So the spirit, so what happened? You have to, hmm, first priority of a believer, first priority, whether I have a food or not, whether I have this or not, that or not, my focus is my spirit man. Amen. That's why Jesus said, first seek the kingdom of God. First God. First spirit. The people put first spirit, what will happen? The soul and body will always submit to the spirit. Amen. The soul is a medium. Actually, spirit cannot immediately guide this body. It has to influence the mind, soul, and only it can influence the body. If the spirit is not influencing, body will influence the soul. <laughs> body will say, hey, I need this, I need this, I need this. Immediate soul, okay, we will join partner. They both will become partner. What you have to do? You have to break the partnership. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Break the alliance. Bring that soul into the spirit alliance. <laughs> I am a new creation. Amen. Everybody, I am a new creation. New creation. So, from your spirit, you are saying. Immediately, your soul say, Really? <laughs> you say, yes. yes. Last week, you committed that. Yeah, but I am a new creation. <laughs> By the Bible says, I am a new creation. Amen. The more you say, your mind will be convinced. When your mind is convinced, your mind also say, yes, you become a powerful person. Because what your mind thinks you are, that you are. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. No, God changed your spirit, but the change, you have to store it in your mind. That job is our job. <laughs> Storing job is we have to tell our mind, hey, I'm a new creation. I have the God's nature. I have the river spirit. I have a re revelation spirit. I'm a rich spirit. Amen. I'm a rocky spirit. Every day when you say, 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 your mind will be convinced. Then you'll say, then, you'll, then the mind also will say, yes, yes, I am a victorious person. The time, the problem today is not your spirit. Your spirit is 100% perfect. Perfect. Your mind is your problem. And how to renew your mind? That's another session I'm going to take you. First, I'm giving an introduction of spirit, soul, and body. And emotion also another problem. The emotion also, when you understand what God did in your spirit, emotion also will be healed. The emotion will be influenced by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Instead of you feel cry, you hurt. Instead of God's emotions will fill your emotion. When God's emotions fills you, you become a prophet of God. Amen. Amen. Who is a prophet? A prophet feels the emotions of God. And already I told you, will, decision making. The Holy Spirit take control of your decision making, you will become a powerful person. Amen. You take decisions for God, for kingdom. People will come to you, Anna, what decision I should take? You will tell them, hey, this is a decision you should take. The other's decision also, you will change it. Amen? According to God. Then your body. This body is a neutral body. Not only food is the need of the body. Three things needed. What is the three things? Food, eh? Then? Don't say water also added only, food. <laughs> Don't say chicken biryani, mutton biryani then. <laughs> Money, yeah, money, yeah, yeah, all comes in that, okay, yeah. In money, even if you say like this, comfort. Your body needs comfort. Ah, AC room, cushion bed, not getting up 5 o'clock. <laughs> if I get up 9 o'clock, how nice my body will feel. <laughs> and another thing? Pa, holy beauty. The problem of the church, no? The church problem, no? The church nicely put everything under the carpet. Holy, holy. <laughs> what other thing body wants? Ah. Um, he's an old student only tells. He knows what I said before. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
Sex bar. Don't talk in the church. Why? Church is all holy people. <laughs> they don't know that word meaning. They don't know any meaning. Sex. Oh, sex. What? Uh, that kind of things are though happening. Uh. I never do. <laughs> Pastor also acting, believer also acting, everybody acting, and nice service. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Randa Rabash. That is the problem. What happens in the church? There's no victory. The youth comes with the struggle. Here we talk about the tabernacle of Moses. <laughs> Today, Hebrew and Greek class we are going to have next week in the church. Mudala, read the Tamil and Hindi Bible first. <laughs> okay, thank you. God bless you. Go, go. Uh, clap your hands for the boys. I, okay, I took much time. Mm, maybe finish. Then after tea, we will have a 10 minutes, I'll finish. Because I came a little late. I'll conclude. Why I say this? This three months, we are the soul changing. No, the spirit change. Who changed your spirit? God. Very good. God only changed your spirit. Amen. By His blood, He made you as a new creation. Your body will transfigure one day. Amen. First Corinthians 15 says, in the twinkling of an eye, your body will be transfigured. Amen. The immortal will, the mortal body will have the immortal. Amen. The spiritual body you will have, you will be an immortal person. I tell you, you will live ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this body transformation also God takes care. Hallelujah. In between, only one thing is that soul. The soul, Romans 12, 2 says, I finished. Romans 12, 2 says, uh, what it says? Hmm. Read it, Romans 12, 2. It's very important. That, I'm going to take two, three classes. That's going to change your life forever. Amen. Amen. Do not be conformed to this world, but transformed. Everybody say, do not be conformed to this world. That means mold. The world is the one mold. How the people are doing a statue, they put a mold, they make the plaster of, uh, plaster of Paris, pour into it, then the statue comes. You also put yourself into the mold of the world. World does, I does. They do like this, I also do like that. There's no change, but you can be transformed. You need not to be conformed like these people. Same like I do, I do, they do, I do. No, you can be transformed. Tell your neighbor, you can be transformed. How you can be transformed? By the renewing of your mind. Everybody say, my mind change. I transform. I tell you, in this three month school, you will be transformed so much, you cannot believe yourself. And how it will come? One day anointing will come, Anna? No, 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 no. Every day you listen the word. Every day you read the word. The read word it renews your mind. Every day renewal, renewal, renewal. Your mind, yeah, then automatically you will be transformed. Yeah. Amen. That is very powerful. Uh, and I'm, nothing I feel, you don't need to feel anything, but you will be transformed. Your desire will change. You think, Anna, I cannot forget that uh, habit. That thought, I can't overcome. You are telling, no? After three months, you tell, wow, I couldn't think that again in my life. Such a way my mind changed. You will say that like that. But after three months also, you have to continue. <laughs> that is in your hand. Here, we force you to do that. Here, we get your mobile phone. Why we get your mobile phone? Now you understand. It is not a controlling. It's not a conservative. Oh, don't be so traditional. I'm an American. Then live in America. <laughs> American people try an open society. If they do commit, uh, I, I did wrong. Yeah, they, they are very open. Now, now India, we are open. Uh, if we open up, nobody will respect us. 
அமெரிக்காவில் ஒருத்தர் ஈவன் ஃபால் அண்ட் எகெயின் கம் பேக் பீப்புள் அக்செப்ட் அந்த மாதிரி அது வேறு சொசைட்டி அதை வச்சுட்டு வெஸ்டர்ன் த வெஸ்டர்ன் டோன்ட் பி அ வெஸ்டர்ன் பர்சன் பி இன் இண்டியன் அல்ல லோயா யூ ஆர் லிவிங் இன் இண்டியா அண்ட் யூ நோ யூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஓவர் கம் தேட்ஸ் வை வி ப்ளக்ட் இட் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் ஹேண்ட் பி ஹாப்பி அபவுட் இட் பி ஹாப்பி அபவுட் இட் when you read see the mobile you will be renewed this is it every day you are renewing by mobile phone that's another renewal <laughs> renewal to the kingdom of the devil <laughs> but when you read the bible you will renewed and transformed into the image of god yeah. and you will know prove that good and acceptable and perfect will of god anna how to do the will of god i tell you no need to do anything read the bible renew your mind every day when you renew your mind you know what is the will of god you no need to go your prophet prophet tell me prophet tell me prophet prophet cannot tell you the will of god only you know the will of god by renewing your mind how many of you understand so this 3 months school i put it in one word renewing your mind every session will change your mind every uh, every video session will change your mind every worship session will change your mind every discussion will change your mind day by day changing 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 you will be transformed and transformed and transformed hallelujah by the time you go home your parents will say this angry boy apa how he is humble how he is uh, even if i shout he is not getting upset alleluia that testimony i want from your parents yeah. will you say will you change yeah. it is not in your hand <laughs> it is in the word amen it is allowing the word to work in you what a glorious days god has given you what a opportunity i tell you you will never get this time never again in your lifetime 